Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. What is a for each item enumerator in for each loop container? Why would you use it? So there are very few examples that I can come up or think of where we use for each item enumerator. So it, it is the enumerator when you provide some static values in the for each loop and then you want to loop through them. And uh, let's uh, go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create a new SSIS package. And we can name this one uh, as uh, for each uh, item. Now, what I want to do here, I, I want to show you one thing. Uh, uh, let me go to the output folder. And I have created some of these uh, uh, folders here. So what I want to do, I want to create a package uh, that will have all these month names uh, uh, put in the for each item uh, numerator and then uh, on the first day of the year, this package will run and create all these uh, year uh, monthly folders uh, for that year. So let's say we are in 2015, uh, it will be creating uh, uh, all folders for uh, 2015 underscore Jan, Feb, March, April and all of uh, all of them. Now. Um, let me delete these one. This one I just uh, created to show you how uh, or what exactly we wanted to do. So select all and then delete them. This is the folder where we want to create those monthly folders on the very first day of the year. So let's go to SSDT and in our SSIS package. Here I want to create a variable so we can use that folder path where we want to create uh, those monthly folders and we call it uh, folder path put the values here why I'm creating a variable I can use a hard code values but I'm using the variable because on different environments uh, you would have a uh, different folders uh, where you want to create these monthly folders uh. so by using the variable you can pass the value to this variable by using SSIS uh, configuration uh, and uh, change uh, to any to the any folder path uh, what you like now go to the uh, for each loop container here and uh, let's create the list uh, of the items uh, what we want to use uh. so here we will be selecting for each item in the name of reader and then uh, we will be adding a column so this is will be column zero and we can't really rename it so leave this one as it is it is going to be string uh, hit ok and now put all those static values uh, what you want jan feb march april may June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now you have uh, all those uh, month names, uh, short names uh, in this column one. Go to the variable mapping and here create a new variable called month name. This is uh, going to be string type. So hit OK. The next part, uh, what we want to use, we want to use the fi uh, fi uh, file system tasks uh, to create those directories. Uh, but before I go ahead, uh, I want to write some expressions uh, and build a string by using these two variables. Uh, so I can use uh, this folder path plus uh, the year and then month name. So let's create a new variable called folder full path. And this is going to be string as well. Let's go here, press F4, that will take us to properties and we go to expressions uh, and hit uh, the button right next to the expressions and here we will write expressions. Uh. So we have folder name and then uh, what we want to add, uh, we want to add a year. So if we go to date time functions, we have year here, bring that function here and uh, then we will get date. Uh, to get the year it is going to throw us error if we will try to evaluate because this is a string and uh, this is returning us uh, the integer value so let's hit evaluate so got the error good so let's convert this one or cast this one to the string dtstr comma 4 and then you have 1252 that's the code now we are fine and we got the year next part is we have to add a month name to it so we have the month name variable that we got 
uh, from the for each uh, loop uh, and we have already s put that in the for each item enumerator i'm sorry this the enumerator is not coming <laughs> right on my tongue uh, i have really hard time uh, anyways so now we bring a month name here so right now there is no value in the month name and that's why it's shown as blank if there would be any value here it will show us that value but uh, on runtime uh, and uh, as our for each loop uh, is going to loop through all those months uh, we will have uh, one value at a time so hit ok and we are good and evaluate as expression uh, set to true now we are all set uh, to create uh, and uh, th that uh, folders bring the file system task inside the for each loop uh, and here uh, we will be using uh, that uh, folder full path variable in the operation we need to create the directory so select create directory and we are using the variable so we are setting it true and now we are selecting a this folder full path variable if the directory already exists we do not want to drop it we wanna just leave that directory as it is so set this value to the true now we are all set hit click ok let's go to the folder see if there are any folders here we do not see any folders run our ssis package and the package is completed successfully let's go to the folder and all those folders are available for each of the month if we read on our ssis package what is going to happen it is not going to drop those folders and recreate them it give us warning uh, the directory already exists so that's good thing if uh, by mistake this package runs uh, some other time uh, be beside the very first day of the year it will still not uh, remove the directories uh, but if the directories are not there it will create those uh, directories so this was a quick demo for uh, using for each item enumerator and uh, I had been thinking uh, all different examples uh, uh, maybe you have quarters quarter one quarter two and three and four uh, you that you can uh, uh, put the values here and inside maybe you read the data from some SQL server table and uh, pass those uh, values as uh, parameters uh, and create uh, quarterly files so th there could be uh, scenarios uh, maybe that's not valid for me uh, and um, I can't really come up with those scenarios but other part if we do not want to use uh, this item enumerator because this is more static and uh, cannot uh, change dynamically from the configuration uh, we have to open it and uh, rewrite it we can always use uh, uh, we will put the data into SQL server table uh, or uh, have query in uh, some configuration table and read uh, by using execute SQL task and pass uh, to the for each loop uh, you know in the uh, as the ADO enumerator uh, when we will have saved in the object I variable before so um, that's it for uh, now and I will see you in the next video thanks